Hello, welcome to Create Full Art. Here we are at the beach, and of course the beach is so relaxing and beautiful, so we want to paint it. So how do we mix and match the colors, and how do we come up with a beautiful beach color scheme so we can paint beautiful beach paintings like these ones? So we're going to talk about that in this lesson. Let's get started. The first step is choosing your colors based on the beach scene that you want to paint. From the same beach, we can get different views and perspectives. Do you want to paint it overhead, peeking in from some tall grasses? Do you want to have cliffs? Do you want to enjoy your view from your favorite spot? Do you want to view it at sunrise or sunset on a foggy day or a sunny afternoon? Do you want to paint it with a city, a boat, birds, animals, people, shade umbrellas, or in solitude? There are so many options and whatever you choose is going to help you know what colors you want to have in your painting. We know we're at the beach, so we're going to want some ocean colors. So some blues to choose from. You wanna have a dark blue for the shaded areas or the most shadowed areas, and then have some light blues for where the light is touching your ocean. So let me show you how to mix a really deep, dark blue. That's a great ocean color. It's called a navy blue, and you can mix it with just three really common paint colors. We're gonna use Thalo Cyan Blue. This is one of those main primary colors that you wanna have on hand. Add about the same amount of black to the mix. You can use Ivory or Mars Black. And then add Quinacridone Magenta. Give these colors a good mix, and then we can adjust them as needed. This palette knife that I'm using is a great tool for mixing your colors. I have listed all the colors and the tools that I'm using in the description of this video. I'm gonna adjust the color a little bit with some more black. That's gonna make this color darker. Then I give it a good mix. Before we move on to another color, it is really important to know how to match and mix any color that you want. And so that is one of my free art lessons. If you go to createfullart.com and sign up for five free art lessons, you can get that lesson. Your ocean waves are going to need a nice blue color especially on a blue sunny day and you're gonna put that color into your sky as well so let me show you how to mix that nice blue sky color follow cyan blue that we just used in the dark blue and white make a nice brilliant blue and brilliant blue comes in a tube as well so I'm gonna go ahead and use the Brilliant Blue and I'm going to mix it with the Tholo Cyan Blue just to make it a bit darker. On the beach, there can be this beautiful aqua or teal color that's in the sky and in the ocean. So let me show you how to mix those colors. Cobalt teal and cobalt turquoise are perfect colors if you don't wanna mix these colors and if you use these colors a lot. If you don't have a great aqua or teal color, you can simply make it by using follow cyan blue and yellow and then white to lighten. And the more blue you have in it, the more aqua it will be and the more yellow you have in it, the more teal it will be. And then you can simply lighten those mixes with white so you can get a lighter teal or aqua color. I always like to have a nice gray in my beach paintings. So I'm going to add white and black, mix those together, and then take a little bit of the teal color and put that into it to create harmony in my color scheme. Of course, there's always sand at the beach and we wanna know how to mix a great sand color with our acrylic paints. So I use bronze yellow. If you don't have bronze yellow, then you can use your yellow and your black and mix those two to create a bronze color. So then I just add white to my bronze and black to my bronze to get the color that I want. So I'll lighten it with the white and I'll dull it down with the black. Of course, there are different colors of sand. We can have a little bit more of a red in our sand. So you would just take your red color and just add a tad bit of red to it to get a red version of the sand color. For lighter sand, I'll just add more white to it as I'm painting along because you'll have darker sand where the water is soaked into the sand. It's just darker there. And then where it's dried out, it'll be lighter. Maybe you wanna add a sunset to your sky. Beach sunsets are so beautiful. There are so many different colors. You still wanna start with a yellow, especially if you're going to paint the sun. I'm gonna show you how to get a nice pink and orange color. So you're gonna to wanna to use your red. That can be a cadmium red or a nathal red. And then you want to add white to that. This will give you a nice pink color. 
and then you can add yellow to it to take it towards the orange or a salmon color. If you add white to those colors, it will take away some of the brightness of the color, but it'll also soften the color. If you want to keep your color scheme brighter, then just make sure that you add yellow only to lighten those colors. Quinacridone magenta is another great sunset color at the beach. You can mix it with white to lighten it, and you can also mix it with blue to get in those purple colors. Now we have learned how to create some beautiful beach colors and how to come up with our own beach painting color scheme. You can use the colors that we've mixed in this lesson to paint along with me in these beach painting workshops where you can learn how to paint your own beach paintings. I can't wait to see what you paint with your beach color schemes. And here are some tutorials for you to paint along with me. Enjoy.